Hi everyone, I'm Lori Kopp Weingarten, president of One Stop College Counseling. We work with students in grades 8 through 12 to help them navigate the wacky college admission process. We are located in New Jersey, but we work with students worldwide. So College Express has asked me to speak about test blind and what test blind means for college admission. So let me backtrack a little bit. Um, test optional is something that is getting to be more known. Test optional, as opposed to test blind, test optional means that if you are applying to college and you feel that you, your test scores don't reflect your ability, you can apply without submitting your test scores. So it works especially well when you have a student who is a good student who takes strong rigor in high school and has great grades, but their test scores just don't really show how well they can do. Those students are the best test optional candidates. Before this pandemic began, there were already 1,080 colleges in the U.S. that were test optional, and the number was growing rapidly. Then, when COVID-19 hit, students weren't getting a chance to test. Colleges understood that, and to increase access to their schools and to lower the risks of students trying to test during a pandemic, more than 1,550 schools have now become test optional. So over two thirds of all US colleges and universities are acknowledging the fact that students can't apply with test scores and therefore they will allow students to apply without test scores. All of that is great. There is also something called test blind, which again College Express has asked me to discuss. Test blind means that you cannot send your test scores. If you send your test scores, they won't be looked at. So what those colleges are doing is they're saying they will evaluate you on this everything else. So they may look at your transcript, well they will definitely look at your transcript and the strength of your rigor and your grades, but they will also look at other factors such as your teacher recommendations or your counselor recommendation and your activities that you participate in and your essays and your interview if there's an interview, but they won't look at test scores. Previously, um, like a few months ago before this whole thing started, there were rarely, rare, rarely any schools that were test blind. Hampshire College was one. Um, earlier in the year, Northern Illinois University became test blind, um, but basically that was it. However, so many students, when they hear test optional, still feel that means tests required and they are running to take these tests. Um, some just took the ACT last weekend. Um, many are about to take the SAT. Um, colleges feel that you know it might not be safe and they don't want you to sacrifice your health for an SAT or an ACT. So some of them have now decided to become test blind. Again, that means they will not look at your test scores. That can be a little frustrating to the students who took the test last year or before the pandemic and did very well on them. They put a lot of time and effort into studying for these tests and they did well and now they, they're not being used. So that, yes, that can be frustrating, but the colleges are trying to even the playing field. So there are quite a few colleges now, especially in the last few weeks that have decided they are test blind. Um, one of the most recent ones was um, Dickinson College. And right before that, the UC schools, the University of California schools, also decided that they would be test blind. Um, actually, what happened is several of them decided that, but they were um, ordered to be test blind by the Superior Court of California. That is being appealed. So if you're not watching this around the time I'm making it, which is September 14th, I would go back and, and double check on that. Um, but there are many test blind um, schools now. So they're telling the students a message. You do not have to take the test. So I'd like to give you an idea of which schools are test blind. I've compiled a list for you. I just need to share my screen. Hopefully this will work. Here we go. Okay. So test blind colleges, this is a sheet we put together for our students. We update it as it goes along, but you can see it's current as of today, 914. 
these are the schools. So we have Caltech, um, very highly selective school in California, doing a two-year trial. We have Catholic University, the California state system, um, all the University of California schools, Dickinson College, Hampshire College, Reach College, and many others. So if you want to maybe even take a snapshot of this list so that you have it, this is current as of 914. In addition, you can see at the bottom, if you want up-to-date information, in case you're watching this significantly after September 14th, 2020, you can go to fairtest.org and you will see an up-to-date list of the test optional schools, the test flexible schools, and the test blind schools. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing the screen getting better and better at Zoom. And thank you so much for listening. I hope that helps you understand the difference between test optional and test blind and have a great rest of the day. Bye.